Hello everyone, welcome to ENA, Environmental News Analysis. In this session on ENA, we are going to talk about important phenomena that is happening related to Earth's plate tectonics, that is the plate movement. So what is that? The Indo-Australian plate that used to be considered as a singular plate is now supposedly breaking up. So that's the big news, let's understand. Now the first important point is that this giant tectonic plate under the Indian Ocean is going through a rocky breakup with within itself. So that is the news that has come up. Now let's analyze it. So what is happening is that in a short time, now this time is in a geological framework. So remember geological time, this plate is going to eventually split into two different parts. A new study has found out. So the plate known as India Australia that is Indo-Australian also known by another name that is Capricorn tectonic plate so remember the other name is also given that is Capricorn tectonic plate for this one so it is splitting at a snail space so pace is obviously it's very slow and about 0.06 inches that is about 1.7 millimeters a year so that is what has been found currently now let's understand that putting another way in a different perspective if you look at it in one million year so what is going to happen the plates two pieces okay the plate is going to divide into two pieces and that will be about one mile far from each other that is about 1.7 kilometers away from each other in next one million year the plate is splitting so slowly and it's so far underwater that researchers almost missed what they are calling the nascent plate boundary. Nascent plate boundary basically means that it is imperceptible in a general sense. The movement is that slow but yet it is moving that has been found out. So but two enormous clues. Now important is the clues on which this is being said. So that is two strong earthquakes that have originated in strange spot in Indian Ocean earlier and they are suggesting that earth changing forces were the important point for this. So that's where the information is being derived. That's where the research is being conducted on the occurrence of these particular earthquakes in the southern Indian Ocean. Now why is the fault there? That is a pertinent question to be answered. So let's understand this. Now remember there are team of scientists which have noted that the fracture zone remember the zone is called fracture zone a weakness spot in the oceanic crust did not form because of earthquakes it means earthquakes are not responsible for this fracture they are important source for the information rather so what is happening the so-called passive cracks remember it's not active crack they're called passive cracks and it is formed when new oceanic crust emerges from within through the mid-oceanic ridges that have formed. So along the mid-oceanic ridges, that's where the line of weakness is there and that's where they have cracked due to Earth's curvature. So larger plate tectonic phenomena is there in picture. Rather, earthquakes are not directly hold responsible for the fault formation there. Now, remember this fracture zone is being repurposed. So they are looking at the fracture zone and studies now being continued and the scientists say that nature likes using weaknesses so remember these are the points or the line of weaknesses which is being put to use and from where the new material is coming on the earth's crust from the beneath asthenosphere like using what's already in place that is what the scientists say now remember the statement of the scientists they're saying it's not a structure that is moving fast but it's still significant compared to the other planet boundaries so if you compare it to other boundaries still this is significant that's why the study has been conducted and remember the various institutes have studied it one of them is institute of earth physics at paris france now 
For instance, if we compare it to the other plates, look at the comparison being made here. The Dead Sea Fault in the Middle East is moving about double this rate. So it is about 0.2 inches, that is 0.4 centimeters a year, while the San Andreas, the very famous fault in California is moving about 10 times faster than this Indo-Australian plate. So we already have comparisons between the movements, but still this is important breakthrough, this is important discovery in terms of plate tectonics. Now let's understand that what did the team find? The team found 62 of this pull apart basins that they call. So these are the fracture zone basins who have been named pull apart basins along the mapped fracture zone which is spanned nearly 217 miles long. So it, that is their stretch and although it's longer and about 350 kilometers that is said by the scientists. So some of these basins are huge almost 1.8 miles wide or supposedly 5 miles long. So this is their maximum stretch of these particular pull apart basins where these important movements have been noticed and are being studied by the scientists. So let's understand the final picture. So what scientists say that it doesn't seem like it's yet fully formed plate boundary. It means it's not yet fully formed. Okay, it's still in development and remember the take home message in this ENA is that it's becoming one. It means it's now going to form a full fledged plate boundary in future and it is probably accounting for much of the deformation that we know is occurring there. So that is the message at the end of this research point. So thank you for watching ENA in this session. Please like and subscribe to our channel The Geoecologist. Stay tuned, stay safe. Thank you so much.